What is up guys, we doubles back game with a brand new video and today we're gonna jump back on the Dark Ranger character and just make some progress on the Agi guy. I wanna push it, get more gear, enjoy the class some more before it maybe gets nerfed and show more Dark Ranger gameplay. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. We'll go for a new theory craft as well. Let's jump right in. Okay, so I want to start this video by showing you guys just some of the progress I made while I was, you know, in between different builds and making videos for those builds. And so I was still playing the Dark Ranger when I could. I played it literally just for fun. And uh, some of the things I did were number one, I did my very first, and I mean this literally, very first GDKP run on Project Ascension. And I was just curious if you go for a GDKP, uh, what is it like? How does the DPS feel? Do people pull their weight? And how much gold do you make? So I did it, and we did it on BWL, which which is Blackwing Lair. I think it was just a heroic. People are going for off pieces. People are going for tier pieces that they haven't farmed yet. People are going for trinkets just so they can get lucky and grab something good, right? And they're hoping to get it for a good price. What I will say right off the bat, the skill level of people was quite high. I mean, it was full of freaking Fury Warrior, Dragon Warrior guys, and they were destroying everybody. They were in it to win it. They wanted it to be fast. It was super fast. And I hate to say it, guys, because I know some people really, really don't like a lot of the new stuff that's been developed on WoW. You know, the New Age loot Rules, stuff like soft resing things, GDKP. Uh, a lot of people just feel scared <laughs> with the new stuff. Like, am I not going to get loot now? Like, that's how I feel. I just want to go in there and actually get something. And I don't want somebody to get something because of some arbitrary, like, you know, elementary school rules that they set up before the raid started over me. I want it to be something that is as fair as humanly possible on all sides. So obviously a rule set in which gold dictates your outcome never sounds great to me, except... Like I said, I was very surprised by what I encountered in terms of the prices of stuff that people were willing to pay for, the fact that I was able to actually get something, and the fact that people really, really were good at the game, and so they just sped through this, and it was super fast. First of all, I thought the gold that would be spent on items would be way higher, and that literally turned me away from it, because I thought to myself, that's cringe, I can just pay for in-game money, and I can have all the gear I want by simply joining and bidding like 1k gold on every item that I want, and nobody really can compete with that, and sure, you do get a payout at the end, but you don't get any loot. When you're a casual, I would argue that gold basically doesn't matter at all unless you're going for a goal that you probably shouldn't be going for because you're a casual. I've definitely fallen for this trap before where I would like go for a really expensive item or something, but it's always just better when you play an average amount of time or less to actually just go for the raid and go for the gear. And that's it. Basically, it's M plus, M zero, and uh, raiding, and you literally don't touch any other content, so there is no money making. So you have to think, by that mindset, nothing else is good besides need before greed right? Like literally nothing else. If nobody needs my item, I just get it. If five people need it and I get lucky, I get it, right? But if five people need it and it's a thousand gold and I only have 200, why am I here? That's the worst part, right? The idea of going to anything in World of Warcraft, wasting one or two or three hours and getting nothing for it is actually insulting in 2023. It's not something we're all just going to fall for, right? But with that being said, the gold prices for Ascension were very, very low, actually. Like people were bidding like 150, 300 gold. This is probably something that would have been way higher if it was a higher difficulty raid, but uh, I still found it very surprising just how little we ended up getting. Overall, my split for the entire raid was 329 gold, bro. Like, almost not worth it, except for the fact that, as you guys can see, I did get a belt, and that was really nice, because one of the things I'm trying to do is full T2, uh, the 8-piece, right? So, that's what I want, and it's really, really good right now to get the T2 Shaman set for any kind of hybrid character, especially Dark Ranger. So I played around after that, guys, and I thought, oh my god, there's a world boss group going on right now, and I was just relaxing one night, and I thought, you know what, let me join it. So we're over here fighting this giant green dragon, the battle begins, and my friends, let me show you what went down.
Yeah, your boy made second place and feels good about it, by the way. Uh, right below, interestingly enough, a Locust Ranger, so that was cool. And uh, yeah, Dark Ranger is an absolute slapper, bro. It's so good to play, so smooth to play, and so fun. I knew I had to do another video, and that's obviously what we're doing today. So I want to cut to like some actual live commentary now, show you guys the plan for this video. But I did want to give you guys a bit of an update on what I was doing, uh, at least some of it, right? Okay, guys, so we still have a few new builds I want to try, but after the last meta build, it kind of took something out of me because it turns out like this demonic resilience talent, which we were using the entire video, by the way, uh, did not have threat gain on it. Still does. It used to, though, with the old Metamorphosis tank videos we played. So the threat gain was awful on the build, and uh, it was really tough over those two days, constantly re-rolling, wasting 2,000 plus gold, and I'm really running low on stuff nowadays uh, to be, you know, spending all my time on something that doesn't even end up being that good. And the views showed it as well. So I thought to myself, let's just play something I'm genuinely having fun with, right? And so I'm thinking to myself, Dark Ranger? So I just did a dummy test, and this is where I want to start off. I was dummy testing, self-buffed, right? And now they actually removed the Norganon buff, so you don't get 25% increased damage on the dummy, which throws people off. So, what happened was, while I was doing the dummy test, I was able to peek out at about 5k DPS single target, which actually is really good for a dummy right now. Obviously, in a raid setting, you'll end up doing even more DPS, and Dark Ranger is incredibly strong. The rotation is extremely good, and it seems to be, the rule of thumb is when in doubt, just click on Blood Arrow, and that's going to be the most damage you can possibly do. What I'm thinking about today, though, is exactly how much of my damage was Devouring Plague. So let's just take a look at that real quick. So if you look at this, Devouring Plague with the Devouring RE that we're using is 5% of my damage, and it just really makes me wonder, should I go Shadow Arrow instead? This means I would have to include the Black Arrow into my rotation, get rid of the Devouring Plague entirely, so it literally just takes the slot, but it would increase all all shadow damage I do by 8%. The more I look at it, the more thematic it becomes, as well as the stronger it becomes in my head, and I feel like Devouring Plague is cool, but maybe, just maybe, Shadow Arrow, which is something I've done so many Shadow Hunter playthroughs with before, might actually be correct. Number one, I'd have to give up a talent point, and actually, this build is very, very clean right now. There really aren't that many places to remove talents. Um, actually, as I'm looking through it, I don't even know what I would remove. Typically, something jumps out to me, but I guess it would have to be this exposed weakness, which, you know, for many of you, if you're just copying builds, might actually be Dream State. I do think I have a talented ability that I do want to get rid of, though. Okay, yeah, so I have the readiness, I can get rid of that, and uh, then I would be 3 out of 3 in Exposed Weakness. I wonder if I have another talent somewhere. I don't think I do. Yeah, so I think it's gonna be the exact same build, except instead of readiness, we're gonna go all the way into the Survival Tree and try to guarantee the Black Arrow. This is gonna be really sick, it's way more thematic for Dark Ranger, so I think that's gonna be the theory craft we test today. Otherwise, I think the build is pretty much pristine. If you can do 5k on a dummy with your build, you are in a good place, okay? Um, I don't have a max item level character right now. It's not like I'm in full ascended. I'm in mythic raid gear and some heroic raid gear. So this is really solid. Let's go for it, guys. What this means, though, is I'm going to have to re-roll. I'm not getting rid of this spec because I don't trust the RNG after my Dark Apotheosis video. So what I'm going to do is take a spec I don't care about right here. We're going to switch to it, and I'm going to prestige this one instead. Seriously, like that Dark Apotheosis video, like I can't cannot believe it took so many prestiges, and I don't think Ascension's in the same place that it was four or five months ago, where, you know, people might be willing to put up with that, and I think it's very obvious that they just need to come up with systems that encourage people to have a fully fleshed out build, but limiting, limiting, limiting uh, the power level in PvP. The PvE power level probably shouldn't be limited, it should be balanced around, big, big difference, but this type of design is very high tier, it's very skillful, and I'm actually waiting to see if the Ascension team has it in them. Okay, guys, so this is what I'm thinking about. Black Arrow, Rockbiter Weapon, Hammer of Justice, Drain Life, Poisons, and the Drain Soul. So let me see if I can get my first four abilities, and then we'll go more into it. Okay, so for my actual skill cards, not just the lucky ones, Succubus, Arcane Power, Haunt, Shadow Form, I do think I got it right the first time. For my actual four abilities, though, we're going to be going Aspect of the Hawk, Auto Shot, Hunter's Mark, and corruption so we can have the shadow arrow early on. The only difference between this and my last video is I went for the shadow bolt early on and not the auto shot and there's just a part of me that's a weird bias right where I think to myself I think that I have a higher chance of randomly free rolling the shadow bolt than I do the auto shot. Are there any numbers to back that claim up? Absolutely not. It's just my thought kind of like a superstition right? I'm like okay I never see auto shot while leveling but I do see shadow bolt constantly and even though there's no reason to feel like that I'm gonna go with it. So 
we'll just try it. And we're going to level all the way to 60 now, guys, with the Black Arrow build being the primary thing. Of course, I just have it lucky carded, but we can now get our lucky cards at level 60 now while re-rolling. So what I want to do is do my prestige daily. Now, they keep giving me an Iron Man prestige daily, and it's really, really weird. It's weird because I have all my awesome stuff. Like, this character is, like, full of heirlooms and all sorts of gold and all that. So how is it Iron Man mode if I have loot just sitting on this guy ready to go? But apparently, I can do Iron Man right now if I want to. Can you use XP pots in Iron Man mode now? You can. That's weird. Okay. Can I use auras on Iron Man mode? Wow, it actually looks like you can use an aura in Iron Man mode. Okay, I'm actually not opposed to leveling in Iron Man mode if I can go fast because it looks like we get 5,000 marks of ascension. So, okay, it's time to level as a Dark Ranger, which should be super duper easy, bro. And like I said, we are ready to go with the Black Arrow build. I'm hoping that by the end of this video, we can do more than 5k single target DPS on a dummy. So we beat where we came out with with a Devouring Enchant. And I want to do some content, right? Let's get into some raids or some M plus or something. Let's make some stuff happen. So I've been doing this thing where I like actually level in the starting zone as much as I can. It turns out you can get almost to level 30 with an XP pot and aura just in the starter zone. And it's pretty good now because once upon a time, these mobs are kind of hard to kill, but with heirlooms, they're just not. I've just got my charmed ancient bone bow and I destroy everything. So the current goal is to devalue this game mode. Like listen, Iron Man mode right now being a mode where you can use XP pots and auras, it's really not that deep. Okay, what do I want here? Do I take entangling roots? Actually, um, uh, I mean, I could go shout mastery and it's more damage, right? But somebody's gonna have it. So I'm gonna go for the roots. But yeah, if they want to turn Iron Man mode into an open world only thing, yeah, this guy's like, Aura? It's like, I know what is going on, dude. If they want to turn it into an open world game mode where it's all about questing and there's lots of people out there for you to potentially go into high risk with and you're segregated from everybody else in a way. So, you know, it's a little bit weird, a little bit unique, slightly more of a challenge. Then I don't think that's a big deal. And besides, I think change could be a good thing. Just mix things up sometimes, right? So we're just gonna keep on questing, guys. See what abilities we get along the way. I'm even doing the peon quest, man. Nobody awakens these peons. Nobody cares. I care today, though. I'm gonna wake every single one of them up. Boom. Yeah, work, work, bro. I do just want to say, because I feel like I gotta keep it alive. Ascension, if you're watching, I'm still waiting for you guys to add the foul belly fart toy to the game. It's a really big deal. It's not a small thing. I'm not trying to be funny. Add the fart toy to the game. Thank you very much. Anyway, let's go ahead and smack this guy. And a boom! Sleepy. Oh yeah, I'm sleepy. I'm not actually sleepy. I just woke up bright and early in the morning. It's 6 a.m. right now. I'm ready to go. I woke up four hours ago, bro. Okay, smack this guy. Boom! Yeah, that's right. Get back to work, peasant. I might not be a boss in real life, but at least I can smack peons in my virtual game, right? Oh my god, I just realized something. If I die doing the Iron Man challenge, because it still says your character is permanently dead. If I die on a character I actually care about, am I gone? Is like McDouble's deleted? Okay, what else do we got? Drain Soul early on. Keep it. All right, that's great. I can actually get my Succubus at 20 for sure now. You see how crazy this is like this is a same level mob and we've tested this in the past before heirlooms and now a 100 shadow arrow 69 lol auto attack okay turn some quests in got the wrath i guess it's all bad and what else do we got renew backstab frost armor pretty much all bad i'm trying to think like do i screw myself by taking the frost armor right i am relying on a lucky carded black arrow so i'm gonna go with yes so i'm just gonna go with the renew because i don't want to take too many rares okay another one we got a uh, succubus there we go skill carded scorpid sting travel form i'll go scorpid sting why not it's such a little crappy ability right like like, okay, what else do we got? Uh, arcane shot? Man, I don't know, man. This is all bad. Lesser healing wave, so I have a way to heal early on. All right, here's the last little peon. I got a smack in the ass real quick. Boom! So as you can see, I have so many quests to turn in, and we are still level 25 right now. So let's see where this takes us. I think it's going to be right before level 30, right? Okay, currently level 27. Aquatic form, lol. Okay, and uh, bonus card swap. All garbage, basically, for me right now. And where do we leave off? At level 28, right before 30 for the most part. Drain life. There we go. Finally got it. That's great, because I can actually use my blood arrow really, really early on. And blood arrow is the crux of the entire build. I like to think when I'm like taking the earth scepter real quick in front of these stones for the shaman quest, that it would be the equivalent of me taking like ayahuasca in real life. You just get totally effed up, dude. Like some random rock dude appears. You think it's real. You turn in your IRL quest and you make it to level 29 in real life. Okay, so after that little adventure in the starter zone, this was essentially the same journey that I normally do, guys. You guys know me at this point. STV, Tenaris, then on Goro. I've been doing it for three years. It's really, really fast. It's simple it's fun and in the old days there were always people to fight so I admit I'm kind of lagging in that regard because I still kind of run off this idea of I got to go and you know be in the zones where there's going to be the most players to PK but at the same time I level fast anyway I just got like two more quests to do in Ungoro and we are going to be 
max level. Can you believe it? As an Iron Man, like, I don't even know how to process that right now, to be real with you. I'm looking for some eggs. So this has been bugged on Ascension since the very beginning. So you, like, run over it, right? And on actual retail WoW or, like, classic WoW, the eggs go away. And you have to find another little uh, nest, I guess you could say. But on Ascension, you kill your little uh, mate. You loot her pheromone gland right from the ass, and then boom, another one spawns. It's literally been this way since I played in like the original seasons, like it's never not been this way. I guess what I'm really curious about is once I hit level 60, is it going to say it in world chat for everybody to find out about? Because there's really no prestige anymore when you can use XPRs and XP pots on like a normally progressed character and just, you know, do Iron Man mode as part of your regular prestige. And I'm not complaining about that, but it is a fact, right? Okay, I put a piece of meat on the rock and then rubbed some dinosaur's anal glands on it and then uh some bigger dinosaur appeared and i killed him that's world of warcraft for you man and okay guys level 60 off this quest let's get the beast slayer and vendor it and there we go and we get haunt right there we go i did not get black arrow while leveling sadly i didn't get almost anything actually poisons i still need that it's gonna be so sad if i don't get it in black arrow two rares that's really scary but we get to turn in the iron man quest and so you know what we might actually get what we need look it did say it in world chat mcdoubles has completed the iron man challenge and i got the ironclad werewolf i think i already have it now that i'm looking at it but i don't know maybe i'm wrong look at all these people saying things this guy said hey youtube <laughs> good gg mcdubby hello youtube once again kill yourself mcdouble okay yeah i will man master I'll, I'll do it and then you know what everyone's gonna know you said it and then the freaking police are gonna find out your username they're gonna find out who you are in real life and then they're gonna blame you and put you in jail for it so gg bro gg mac doobies ggs oh man i feel good about this man thank you guys but will we actually get what we want mac doobies where the brand new video it's coming my friend for real though it wasn't that prestigious and uh, i guess everybody's gonna find that out very very soon anyway i have 39 more rerolls and i still have not got what i need i do have shadow bolt that is good i got feral spirits that's at least cool uh but i do not have black arrow and it all comes down to that man okay how many rares do i have right now like learned okay so this is a really big deal if i have a lot i have a low chance of getting what i want uh, i have only five right because this is not actually one of them it's the same thing as aspect of the hawk so i have five that's not really that much i'm actually starting to wonder if it may be in a recent patch right they accidentally went back on a lot of the things that they made better where are my lucky cards man i've already done 40 of these rerolls at max wouldn't it be crazy if they only made it better for like a couple videos and then changed it right back just to trick everybody into thinking it's good wouldn't that be actually the most big brained but also evil thing they could ever do and we would never know we have five more rolls though i haven't seen actually anything dude which is unbelievable it feels like the beginning of season eight all over again so i'll be honest i am dumbfounded by this i didn't think this was gonna happen i actually just went through all of that and i don't even have the stupid black arrow unbelievable or the poisons like what the hell is the point ascension please tell me it adds nothing to the game i have quickly become completely jaded to the entire system dude okay ascension i just spent basically almost all my money as you guys can see you can see all the money on all my characters i am not lying and i just spent it on profession dailies i got fourteen thousand more marks of ascension i somehow got neither of my lucky cards at max despite having plenty of rare slots really 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 weird but you know what the show must go on so you know what we'll continue the black arrow journey in another video let's hop on the other dark ranger spec let's actually get some gameplay going i guess okay Okay, guys i'm thinking let's just do a quick bwl in this video we can't make the black arrow happen but maybe we can make a full set of t8 happen do i have the wrist guards i do okay so it looks like i need the gloves i also need the pauldrons the shoulders right and uh yeah oh and the helmets okay so helmet shoulders and gloves okay we are on veil of straws i think is how you say it let's see how we do uh we have a dragon warrior we have an interesting righteous flame spec in here too i'm gonna look at that on the damage meters when we have a chance that's gonna be very interesting have never seen somebody do good with that spec before and then we have some dark rangers and some other normal stuff like that right now for chapter two so uh let's just keep it up so we're gonna keep up the periodic damage modifier with wraith and what i want to do is hyper prioritize the uh blood arrow as often as i can this means as you can see here i can stack up my dark artillery it's okay if i don't throw that off right away the damage is going to come as long as i don't meet uh maximum stacks with it it's perfectly fine let's keep on going with a shadow air right here into the wraith into let's see the shadow bolt into the blood arrow and now we can actually go ahead and do the dark artillery everything's on cooldown works out perfectly into a blood arrow right there i'm gonna go for the shadow arrow i know it proc shadow bolt into a blood arrow and then boom barely barely not gonna have the wraith up that does suck i accidentally clicked shadow bolt there that's so bad dude that's so bad just for my overall it's like even one second of not doing the right thing man it can make all the difference okay into the shadow bolt 
Dark Artillery, just one into the Bloodshot. I keep calling it Bloodshot, I just feel like it sounds better. It also probably should be called Bloodshot, because what if you use a gun? You don't have an arrow, you know? But anyway, uh, Dark Artillery right there. Okay, Shadow Bolt, Blood Arrow. We're gonna go for the Shadow Arrow into the Shadow Bolt, because it procs every time. Bloodshot into the Wraith. I feel like I'm missing the Wraiths just ever so slightly. And I feel like that might actually make a big difference. So yeah, really good rule of thumb is every time you Shadow Arrow, you are basically guaranteed a Shadow Bolt proc. And so I just like to keep that in mind. It makes it a lot easier to play when you know exactly what's going to happen. And then you can just literally play around that. All right, she's going to die. Chromatic Girdle. That was not one of the ones I needed. Actually, I will take that if we can win it though, because I only have a normal and I do want the heroic over the normal. We won it, dude. Holy crap. Look at how many people rolled for that. What a 60! Yes, dude! Yes! It was meant to be, man. It was just meant to be. Okay, so I dismissed my girl because uh, obviously she could pull stuff. And I obviously forget about that a lot, so I'm trying to be mindful of it. Alright, guys. Broodlord Lash Slayer. Let's do it, man. Alright, man. Let's make it top three. Alright, we're going in. Devouring Plague. Already got the Bloodshot. Shadow Arrow into the Wraith, then back into the Bloodshot, right? At this point, Bloodshot is prioritized the entire time. Time. I just want to make sure I have the Wraith going for the increased damage. I also wish I was in a better position right now. It'll be fine. We can blink over here. I blinked into a wall. God damn it. Um, okay. Bloodshot. Damn it, guys. What a horrible start. Yeah, I'm already like number six, number seven. Jesus, dude. I hope I can pull it back. Come on, man. All I gotta do is click my buttons in the right order. That's literally all I gotta do. I'm Dark Ranger. I'm already at an advantage, man. Just let me win. Just let me click. Oh, God. Wraith just fell off just for a split second, but it was just too much, man. Bloodshot. Okay, Shadow Bolt, Shadow Arrow. I artilleried while I was in midair because it does work, and I can't for some reason Shadow Arrow in midair, so that's a little weird. So just kind of like memorizing what spells are usable during certain bits of, uh, well, not being able to play your character, right? Little nuances like that can really help you sometimes. I am number four right now, so maybe I'm making good decisions. Shadow Artillery. He's dead already? Damn it, I'm number four. I want a top three. This is what I'm talking about, though. This light guy is playing an Ignite, Fireball, Pyroblast, Holy Fire, Righteous Flame build. There's not much going on here either in terms of, like, abilities. It's, like, four spells, right? So maybe when we're done trying all the new stuff, we go for this dude's build. I'm gonna screenshot that. Thank you, Light. Just make our own version. Okay, Heroic Raid Boots, but we already have that, so pass. As far as I'm concerned, guys, because you know how I treat these old vanilla raids. Like, I just don't care that much. I want to get loot so that I can do Mythic Plus, so that I can feel good, so that I can feel like I've progressed so I can feel happy with it all like my character do more damage these are the things I'm really focusing on if we can just get as much gear as possible that's all that matters to me we've already gotten lucky so far with the chromatic girdle but uh, after seeing how many people need it on that I can only imagine that when the gloves drop when everything else drops that I need people are gonna need on that in mass too so yo this is worth it just for the chance of getting more doom shot man like it's actually kind of expensive for me right now so I'll just be raiding right and getting it for free like that's the plan now so I do want to talk about something Something because I thought about this when I was doing my grind in my last video for some random chance. I went for spider bite and I noticed something, guys. This is just a quick little talk while we, you know, are in between bosses. But I noticed when I tried to go inside it and I had my mythic instance set up so it wasn't on normal mode, right? It was on mythic. It said, you cannot enter this dungeon yet because there is no mythic difficulty for it yet. I'm pretty confident it said yet. Maybe my brain made it up, but I think I saw it literally imply that there might be one someday. Wouldn't it be interesting and also badass and cool if they added mythic dungeons for like all sorts of random, you know, dungeons. They wouldn't even have to do all of them. Just pick some. Like, some of the old ones are actually kind of hard if you imagine them with a Mythic Plus difficulty attached to it. I think that would be really fun. Alright, we got the three drakes coming up. I know this boss is easy because I never have to care what the mechanics are and we always kill it. So, like, that's kind of how I judge it. There are plenty of bosses I just simply don't know the mechanics to because there's no point of learning them because you one-shot it with just DPSing and pew-pewing and, you know, basic common sense. Like, that's all. And I have no problem with that, by the way. Like, I don't feel bad about it one bit and i suggest you guys don't either if you're in the same boat ultimately the name of the game is loot bro like that's all it comes down to some people take pleasure in actually mastering boss mechanics i kind of envy the people that can do that i don't as much i do sometimes though i mostly take pleasure in getting fat loot like that's just what it comes down to man we will be killing in this order ebb and flame and fire then okay let's do it this did actually start off as a guild run but then we pugged the rest so i think somebody's playing grove ranger in here by the way just as a little tidbit the brand new and improved 
Grove Ranger, my friends. Which, of course, gets a buff after my last video, so I don't even get to experience it. But it's no big deal. I'm not salty about it, man. Not one bit. It's like I'm mostly playing when I say this, but I've said it a couple videos ago, I think. I was like, you know what? It's just funny to me how things keep getting buffed after my videos, which is great for the community and for the game. I don't have feign death, guys. I don't have feign death. Why is this guy on me? I didn't mean to take aggro. This guy's, like, feeling bad for it. It's not your fault. I guess I should have been looking at it. I don't know. But yeah, great for the community. Great for the game. Sucks, though, for me, bro. <laughs> It just does, you know? Not everything is Dark Ranger and, like, maybe Arctis and Fuego. Y'all remember that build before they nerfed it? Like, that was so freaking hype for, like, the first month of Chapter 1 of Season 8. Like, it was so cool. Dude, I totally dropped the ball on this boss, but that's kind of cool because sometimes you have a good group, right? It's not that you quit trying, but you can be a little chill, you know? A little bit more chill on it, and as long as you still do fine DPS, everything will be okay. We can compete for Top 3 sometimes, and we can relax, eat our Taco Bell that we just bought, and, you know, just go hard on the flame gore's ass and that's totally fine too oh i see what my problem is i did not use the devouring plague because it was like three different guys and i didn't switch properly with it okay i get it oh no that wasn't good a couple people just got clapped off his uh, aoe i'm in fourth now holy crap when you only move up on the dps meter because people die well i'll take it man all day dude am i really in second place right now because people died i feel so good you could say well that's the only reason you're in first yeah i also lived and didn't die to mechanics that's the reason i'm in freaking second or first right now Lo no Get off me. Don't not. No, it doesn't count if we all wipe, bro. Okay, we actually just wiped. I, man, I was just talking good stuff about this raid too. It is a great raid, but yeah, mistakes happen. Bro, I'm so happy I'm not the only one that if they just don't care or they're over it or they're just in a different mood, they just like smash themselves with the in-game alcohol. Okay, top three on that one. And the cool part is I started off weak, but then I was like, okay, focus up on these last couple drakes. And hey, I pulled it all the way up to number three, beating another guy in here playing my spec, which is cool. I do think that uh, Shadow Arrow is better by the way like this is a more realistic idea it's four percent with devouring plague four percent all devouring does is keep it up permanently so i know you lose a gcd from constantly throwing up the shadow arrow but still okay by the way chromatic handguards i did not win maybe he'll sell it to me i don't know okay he's not down to sell but that's not a big deal you know i wouldn't sell it either if i won right so okay we might not be able to replace the gloves which does suck because you do need every piece we still have the helmet though in the shoulders i still have earth fury on it's not doing me literally any good at all you just gotta hope we get lucky man okay so i've been using shadow arrow too much i think because now i'm thinking about it and i'm like okay based on the logic i gave you guys earlier about shadow arrow proccing the shadow bolt instantaneously every time it's like okay shadow arrow is decent damage but it's more like a free shadow bolt right like an instant guaranteed shadow bolt so if my nightfall proc to get the instant shadow bolt is already up i think i shadow bolt first every time that actually makes the rotation easier too because actually like shadow arrow lasts forever on these guys by the way i'm in first place dps right now but everybody's dying are we gonna kill him he's really really low double shadow artillery at the end into the blood shot okay well if i wasn't stunned i don't have sand bro into the blood shot into the freaking shadow bolt into the shadow artillery he's about to die i guess i'll wraith anyway blood shot arcane power even at the end shadow arrow instant shadow bolt artillery because he's low and i just want it to be over with it does the most damage all right he's gonna die right <laughs> come on bro is he actually gonna die okay he did actually die we came in first place that time okay shoulders dropped come on give me that i actually came in first place so i deserve loot luck boom need and one more need so two of them damn it dude both the pieces i needed i did not win okay brand new nefarian encounter and that's all that's left okay so the grove ranger i mentioned he actually pm me at some point and uh he just had to check the healing on the fight we just did because apparently he might have done well let's see oh god dude 2k hps first place and not by a small margin grove medicine which i think is brand new being in first place that is what i'm talking about if you need to prove that grove ranger works after my video i guess rosh is the proof and by the way it looks like he has a guide on the architect so you know this guy's guide actually works it looks like he just put it up man all right so this is boss only on the the dps charts right now not the ads and i'm doing that very deliberately because i'm literally only trying to care about tracking my single target dps and how i match up with other players right that's what matters to me so that's what i'm tracking let's see how we do on the brand new nefarian i don't have the best aoe like it really is just shadow artillery but i mean shadow artillery is broken by the way especially while leveling i'm hitting way too high with it a shadow artillery would crit an npc for like 3k and you'd be like level 40 and you're like oh okay you know, at this level i think it's like 8 9 10k maybe pretty nutty now we've done this brand new version 
version of Nefarian a few times already, which is pretty cool. Uh, this is not the normal fight, even in the slightest. There's a lot of random stuff that gets spawned. The ads get killed by, you know, people that are better at killing ads than me. And uh, a lot of the times, everybody dies, and it does take a couple tries. So the truth of it is this. Right as this boss was getting to the Nefarian stage, I was looking at my other monitor for like a split second, and then I died. I died in a horrible way. I was trying to summon my succubus while I looked over at something else, and uh, yeah, it didn't go well for me, bro. Now, I thought all hope was lost, and I was just gonna be like, yeah, your boy died in a stupid-ass way because he's a dummy, and uh, no, that's not how it went, my friends, because this absolute Chad ran all the way back and came back for me, and you know what? This is the moment, kind of like that idea I gave you guys a while back, where I thought to myself, you know, WoW would make so much money if they created a Netflix series where a main character, I just died, I'm so stupid in the purple fire, but anyway, where a main character set in the WoW universe of just World of Warcraft, right, Nefarian's dead, uh, traversed through all the quests and the storylines were played out, you know, the stuff you never read, actually some of it's pretty good, and then I thought, sometimes even your player character, like they could expand it, like just having interactions in game, imagine, I'm on the Nefarian boss, and in this Netflix series, right, you could pretend like my dude's literally dead, and then this guy runs through the fray, through the fire, he resurrects me, and then I'm like, you came back for me, bro, and he's like, yeah, I've got a main character on the horde in your guild, and D's nuts, I'm like, whoa, and then we both just run back and kill the dragon, it's just I don't die at the end in the series, right, anyway, uh, I did not, Pigeon got this again, oh my god, two wins for Pigeon, which is a guildy, of course, okay, passing, and, uh, passing again, had a Nefarian, okay, did not win that, uh, do I want this Therizane's link? No, I just got something actually in this raid, so okay, we didn't get anything, man. Of course, we did get the chromatic girdle, so we will use that, but damn, that's the only thing, wow. See what I mean by that GDKP, though? In the GDKP, I also only got one thing, but I also got 329 gold, and that's why I wanted to bring it up in this video. Uh, tell me what you think in the comment section below about GDKP, and the reason I did it was because I was thinking to myself, you need to make more gold, bro, like you're making all these videos and pumping stuff out and running out of resources, and you're not spending enough time trying to make stuff happen, so that would be a good way to make some gold. I just never see them on Ascension, really. Okay, we're gonna do Onyxia real quick just to end the video off. Just a quick video, we'll do more Black Arrow shenanigans in the future. If you like me continuing the same character, by the way, let me know. Typically, the answer is yes to that, but I gotta make sure. But yeah, actually, this is not for nothing, because actually, Onyxia drops the T2 helmet, I believe, so there's still a chance of getting something that I really, really need. Really, the only thing I'm missing is getting some gold to put some actual enchants on my stuff, because honestly, my stuff's getting good enough to where I would actually actually want to do that. I've got Mythic Raid, Chromatic. I mean, this is good. 72.4 item level. Now, one thing I would like to know if you guys could tell me is apparently there was a bug, and uh, typically bugs are found out, reported, and fixed real quick, but there was a bug where if you're using Agi and you're using a two-handed weapon, the 20% increased critical strike damage with only physical stuff actually was applying to spells as well and magic. Now, if that's not working anymore, I got to go back to Agile Strike, so if anybody knows if that was fixed, let me know. But yeah, anyway, Onyxia is coming up, and this should be a super easy fight. I just picked the first pug I could find in chat. Dude, nobody does ready checks anymore in 2023 apparently. Like, twice now, on two raids, have I been caught with no ready check and I'm like, oh, I didn't even know we were playing the game. Oh, no, 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 no! No! Oh, no! I don't want to be hit into the freaking eggs. Stop it! Stop it! Jesus Christ, I just lost so much DPS for that. Okay, we're switching to the ad right now, and we're, like, really fighting from a deficit. I hate ad fights when I have a dot spec, man. The only thing I don't like about the Onyxia fight is that they didn't do a great job with, like, the camera angle, right? Because if you have to look up the whole time to see the badass dragon you're fighting, you can't see the mechanics. So, really, you're, like, looking at nothing and, like, shooting pew-pew stuff at nothing. And I don't know how they could have fixed that. Like, this is obviously a original Blizzard and not ascension we're talking about basically what happened in modern expansions is that they made the fights where there's like multiple mechanics it feels like too much sometimes i guess like i think of the death wing fight it's like obvious right it was an awful fight in my opinion one of the worst fights ever so i guess this isn't too bad you almost just wish that it would just have a different camera angle for just the parts of the fight where she flies i know that's like extra effort and stuff and like this was made in 2006 but there's the chromatic headpiece i'll need on that two of them that's always good head of onyxia i think that you do get a good necklace oh i've already got the heroic version never mind so you do get a good necklace but i've already got a better version all right do we win oh we get a uh, raid cache that's great i love the raid caches oh my god it would be mystic runes and stuff i'm gonna pm both people that win this helmet because i really really want it and ask them if they'll sell it i've only got 300g to offer though which is actually not bad considering the gdkp prices i saw by the way but sometimes people want like 800 gold you know they really want to get you i told you this dude immediately said 600 oh my god dude everybody always assumes i'm rich 
Twitch in game and in real life. Well, guess what? Absolutely wrong on both accounts. I do this because I like it, bro. Okay, this other person said they would sell it. I know this is based on the GDKP I've done. Technically overpriced. Probably you could get it for like 150 in a run like that, but I want this and so I'll take it. All right, this is actually a big deal, guys, because now we can get the T2 helmet. This brings us so much closer to the full set. Actually, like the old school mascot from my channel, and in fact, it's still in the intro, right, uh, of the actual like intro to the videos. He's wearing full of the 10 storms because I used to play classic WoW and I mained a shaman and I had the 10 storm stuff and it made me really happy and I was like, that's my thing, bro. So it's fun to be able to go back to it, but let's go ahead and buy the helmet. It is better than what I've got, right? It's bare. It's like the same. Oh my God. It's a little bit. Yeah, it's the same. Like I'm losing some stuff, gaining other things. I've got a mythic raid earth fury cover right now, but yeah, I'm going to keep what I've got, but I'm also going to use this one. So let's put it on. There we go. We actually got it. GG. And yeah, dude, that's beautiful. It literally like actually matches my set almost too. If it was only a little bit more black, that's so amazing though. Okay. We actually got two pieces of gear, man. That's great. Okay. So at least I could say I did actually get a full T8 set. So what I did is I spent my 600 plus Raiders commendations. Wow, guys, that's actually a lot. I feel like on getting some normal pieces to fill out my T2. The normal pieces aren't the best, but it's good enough. It's better than what I've got. So now we finally got critically striking with a direct damage spell increases my weapon and ability crit by 5% and critically striking with a direct damaging ability increases my chance to crit with spells by 5% as well. Really, really solid hybrid set. All right, guys, that's going to be the end of this video though, but we're going to go ahead and do the giveaway before we end anything. So I've still got a few things I can give away, I guess. I have a uh, dealer's draft deck, super good, especially if you're relatively new or don't have a way to get your old one. And we'll give you some transmog, whoever wins as well. Okay, I made up a little care package for this guy, the dealer's draft deck being the best, but he gets a Hearthstone profession book, some enchants, and uh, yeah, that's pretty good. I'll snag him 100 gold too. Okay, let's do the giveaway. All right, guys, let's see who's gonna win. There we go. Perfect. Luca, to be honest, maybe what we need is increased threat on the Immolation R. It should be like a challenging shout and grabs aggro of everything whenever it is casted so that you can grab everything once every nine seconds. By the way, Classic WoW is a big yes. We definitely do need it. Really? Okay. Uh, name is Vindro on Thrall. Well, grats, Vindro. I'm glad you said that about Classic WoW. Maybe I will do it. Sometimes I just need a push, man. And uh, you know what? What you said about the aggro, you're right. I mean, wouldn't it be better, obviously, if they just increased the threat baseline for everything? I mean, I think that's the best way to do it. But your idea is also just as good in the regards that I think that immolation are a holding threat maybe is the only thing we need. If it did its job, that would be the only thing that matters. And the rest of the rotation would just be, you know, putting up your damage reduction cooldowns and doing damage in unique ways. Uh, yeah, I think that makes perfect sense, man. All right, here's your little care package. I told you guys I'm really getting down to the wire. Uh, okay, GG, bro. And once again, leave a comment in the comment section below with your in-game name if you want a chance of winning something in my next video. Anyway, guys, this is the character that we're actually doing things on. Is it raining in Orgrimmar? What the hell? It doesn't rain in Duratar, right? Anyway, what the hell? That, that, that's so, okay. Now, as always, major thanks to all the members on my channel. I really appreciate you guys. Remember, you can become a member if you want for $1.99. But as to the ones that are already here, you guys mean a lot to me. We're doing this together, so thank you. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like and a subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. McDoubles out.